Thanks for tuning in again to Truth and Fellowship, the marriage series. Forever, ever, forever, ever. Hmm. <laughs> that remains to be seen. Now, I want to focus today on my um, married ladies. Now, married ladies, sometimes we just take our men for granted. You know, they work so hard and we need to build them up. You know, especially us women of pigmentation. We need to just build our men up. And so I want to call this segment right here within the Forever Ever series, Coach Your Man to Greatness. Coach your man to greatness, dear one. You know why? Because he is great. It doesn't matter if he's not working or paying those bills. Once your man comes home from hanging out with his friends at the bar, at the football game, or whatnot, the bills aren't paid, you still, when he comes through that door, you say great things to him. Baby, you're great. You're amazing. Coach that man of greatness. Tell that man that even though the water and electric is not paid, he's still great. Keep coaching that man of greatness, and one day, that electric bill will be paid. And although you're facing eviction and he has somewhere else to go because he's dealing with Sally Mae around the corner and up the block and you know about it. And you know about it. <laughs> although you know he's going to have a roof over his head once they evict you and the kids. Coach that man to greatness. Tell that man you are grateful for the temporary housing that you now have on top of your crown. Okay? And enjoy. So when he comes home and you might be a little worried about getting kicked out and evicted and the bills aren't paid and the electricity is not working, you light those candles up, act like nothing's afoot. And when he comes through that door, you say, honey, I'm so proud of you for coming home at a decent time this time. Coach that man to greatness. Overlook his indiscretions, ladies. There will be indiscretions. <laughs> Didn't we know that when we got married? Do you see Pastor Donna Dallas around? <laughs> but coach that man to greatness. Make him feel like the king that he's not. Yes! Put a crown on his undeserving head. Coach that man of greatness. And that way, when you get your little coins together and you decide to move on, you've done your best, married woman. <laughs> or a single woman thinking about getting married. Yes, we must coach them into greatness. They might not come great. They might not get paid what we want them to get paid. I think minimum wage is going up. So he's going to be middle class pretty soon. Just hold the line, ladies. Hold the line. Okay. Keep that marriage together. Try to be that forever wife. Or Sally Mae up the street to take them. Okay. Well, this is it for Coach Your Man to Greatness with Pastor Perfect Patty. I hope you got something out there today. Ah. Sure and I'm going to look at your comments. Before you go now, click on the subscribe button at youtube.com backslash T-Stars Entertainment and hit that little bell ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling, so that you'll be notified when the next coaching series comes around the corner. All right now, you guys be good to yourselves and love yourself as each other. This is your perfect Pastor Patty. Bye. Uh.